Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy has announced that charges have been filed against police officer Kevin Morris for second degree assault and misconduct in office. The charges stem from a cell phone video which shows Morris using his knee to restrain a handcuffed suspect. And it's a sad day when Marcus and I stand here having to charge a Montgomery County police officer. This, this morning I take no pleasure, I take no pleasure in Officer Kevin Morris being charged criminally um, in this matter and based upon what I observed on the videotape. Um, I totally understand the state's attorney's office position. Um, this does go to um, the point of our officers uh, understand that they have to be held accountable um, in order to earn the trust of our community. The July 3rd video quickly circulated on social media, prompting Council President Nancy Navarro and Vice President Sidney Katz to release a statement. Navarro says the decision to charge Officer Morris was the right thing to do. I think the fact that this was done in a very short period of time speaks highly of uh, their own uh, approach to this incident. Um, at the same time, it is a very sad and a very somber day for the county. Um, we have an extraordinary police department, and I can imagine how this must feel to all of those upstanding police officers who every day risk their lives to protect us. This, this video was very disturbing. Um, you know, some people I have heard have said on social media that, well, this person was selling drugs, and, and you know, that is why we have our police department there to protect us. But just because you're committing a crime and you're arrested for that crime doesn't mean that there aren't uh, very important, um, you know, civil rights and very important processes that uh, our police has to uphold. In the meantime, the police department has suspended Officer Morris pending the outcome of his trial. When you look at that video, you have a handcuffed individual on the ground being kneed in the face and with an action that could have killed him. Um, and so I want to commend MCPD and uh, the state's attorney for moving so quickly. I think one of the things that are key in these cases is that you have transparency, accountability, uh, and that you move quickly, um, and that happened in this case. The council is scheduled to meet with Acting Chief Jones on July 23rd to discuss training and support that officers are receiving to prevent incidents like this one in the future. Reporting from Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy.